All right, as you know, crypto took a big, I'm sorry, a huge dip this past month. But you have to remember, as much as your portfolio is in the red and you're probably down a lot, times like these in the crypto market is when a lot of money is made. And the prices that we're seeing right now are at levels that we probably will never ever see again. Now, with all my years of being in crypto, the one thing I've always learned is you always regret not buying. So put your big boy pants on, put your emotions to the side, and let's see which coins you guys should be looking into this upcoming month. Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy, Forrest. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over my top three crypto picks that you guys should be considering for the month of February 2022. And I think if I were to choose just one word to describe the coins that I'll be talking about today, I think I would choose revolutionary. So make sure you guys watch the whole video through to know exactly why I chose that. But before we get into the video, if you guys want free crypto just for signing up, which I don't know who wouldn't, Coinbase gave me a special link where all you have to do is sign up and you guys will get free crypto. So if you guys want free crypto, all you have to do is sign up using the link down in the description box below. Also, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you guys haven't already. I make videos all about money, finance, crypto, all that good stuff. So make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Okay, so coming in at number one, we have Avalanche. Now, Avalanche is a blockchain that allows developers to build dApps or decentralized applications. Kind of sounds like Ethereum, right? But instead, it has fast transaction speeds and low gas fees, the two things that Ethereum always struggles with. Now, since launching in 2020, Avalanche has gone from $4 to all-time highs of about $135, and it's hovering around $64 right now. So from a technical standpoint, if the price goes back to levels it's already been at, so this $135 range, you can see a 2x return on your money right away. Now, the reason I think Avalanche is going to dominate is because their numbers and adoption rates have just been insane. If we look at the VP of marketing for Avalanche, he posts some super insightful analytics about the projects. He shows how developer adoption has increased 18% in the first 20 days of January to almost 18,000 developers. And similarly, contract deployment increased 13% to almost 100,000 smart contracts. He also shared how Avalanche is experiencing Ethereum level activity just a year and a half after launching, reaching 84% of Ethereum's daily transactions. I mean, if they can achieve these crazy numbers in just a little over a year, that just shows how good the team over at Avalabs is and the superior blockchain technology they are offering. Not only is the blockchain amazing, but one of the founders and CEOs of Avalabs, Emin Gunn, just ended his 20 year plus teaching career at Cornell in computer science to pursue crypto. Emin Gunn has an insane list of accomplishments that would just take too long to listen to this video, but trust me when I say this, that this guy is a wizard when it comes to this stuff. And when you have founders like this, it's hard for a project to flop. Also, when we were experiencing those heavy stress with the markets tanking and everyone panic selling, many blockchains like Solana just stopped working or had technical problems. Avalanche, on the other hand, was one of the few that didn't experience any issues with these massive volumes. Now, on top of everything that Avalanche is doing, a ton of new dApps are being created on the blockchain. There's Dex a lot, one inch who's making improvements to their platforms, we have Platypus, and the list just goes on and on. And a little cherry on top of all this adoption is that if you're going to hold the coin, since AVAX is a proof of stake coin, you can stake it and make around 10% return on your money every year, which is some pretty nice passive income if you ask me. Overall, when I'm looking at Avalanche, I'm super bullish from the numbers that the teams are putting out so early in the project. And honestly, I can see the price of Avalanche going back to the $125 range pretty quickly. Okay, before we get into the second coin, I know a lot of you you guys are into trading or want to start trading so i highly suggest you guys looking into lux algo it's an algorithm that tells you exactly when to buy and sell stocks crypto or forex now i've been using it for almost two years and it's honestly changed the game for me they have so many special indicators that you guys can use to make your trades even better now i've talked about them plenty of times in previous videos but if you guys want solid signals that are actually correct to tell you when to buy and sell you guys can attach it to your own trading charts by clicking the link down in the description box below all right so coming in at number two, we have Cosmos. Now, Cosmos is coined the internet of blockchains. Basically, what Cosmos does, it allows independent blockchains to operate with each other. So for example, it allows public and private blockchains to transfer tokens to each other. And it does this through something called IBC, which stands for Inter Blockchain Communication Protocol, which you can just think of being like the glue for Cosmos, pretty much holding everything together. Now, without getting too in depth, IBC 
see allows different applications to send tokens and data to one another. Now I'm not going to go too in depth into this because it can get very confusing but if you guys are interested there's plenty of other videos you guys can watch online which you can watch after finishing this video of course. Now the main reason why you should be looking into Cosmos is one word, airdrops. Now if you know anything about Cosmos you would know that they've been having a ton of airdrops on its network and the reason for this is because all these applications are running on the Cosmos's network. So if you're staking Atom which is Cosmos's native token you're technically a part of all these projects because Cosmos is what you call interoperable pretty much meaning connected with all the other dApps that are run on it meaning you most likely automatically meet the requirements for these airdrops because you're technically a part of them already and when I say we've had a ton I mean a ton just to name a few of the airdrops that we've seen recently are Stargaze, Comdex, Chihuahua, DSM, Shade and this is only the start of what's yet to come so if you guys are interested in buying Atom make sure you guys do yourself the service and stake your coins not only so you can make passive income but so you can also receive all these upcoming airdrops and as far as I can tell there's so many more dropping so go get yourself that free money now when I was doing research I came across this really cool tweet that explained how most of the airdrops you're going to receive from Cosmos will be layer one blockchain solutions which is really good because it'll expose you to different ecosystems and automatically diversify your portfolio and as I said being a part of the Cosmos network you're pretty much a part of many other networks as well also you have to remember when you receive these airdrops these projects are pretty much brand new they're just getting off the ground so you never know what can happen with its price and since they're essentially getting free money anyway I think a great strategy would be to stake these airdrops and make some passive income and possibly experience some crazy gains if people start hearing about it in the future and money starts pouring in I mean we saw the same thing happen with the ENS domains airdrop it was worth close to $40,000 for the people who didn't sell and were waiting for the price to go up. I think we just all have to realize that Cosmos is super early to the punch and currently no other coins allow something like this to even happen. So when we're looking at the price of Cosmos, I truly think the sky's the limit. But in the short term, there's a lot of support around the $35 to $36 range and I could see it coming back to all time high levels of about $44 in the very near future. So for right now, just make sure you're staking your Atom to be eligible for these upcoming airdrops. And if you are somewhat new to crypto and don't know where to start, well, you're in luck because staking Atom is actually pretty easy as companies like Coinbase, which I mentioned you guys can get free crypto from, make it super simple to do so. So if you want to stake Atom on Coinbase as well, like I said, the link will be down in the description box below. And finally, coming in at number three, we have Aave. Now, Aave is a DeFi liquidity protocol where you can earn interest from lending out your crypto. Aave has a little over $20 billion in their protocol. Now, this is down a few billion dollars after the crypto dump we just saw and a whole bunch of accounts being liquidated. Oh, and also a quick PSA. If you guys are trading on leverage, your account were most likely not safe this past crash and this is why if you don't understand how leverage works you shouldn't be using it now the reason why crypto falls so hard when it does is because there's so many leverage accounts in the arena and when one gets liquidated the dominoes start falling and then it's account after account getting liquidated so i'm just saying this to those of you that are using leverage please be careful because it's not an easy game to play okay back to ave now ave has a whole bunch of new markets that they introduce which shows that the team is constantly integrating new blockchains to their protocol to make transactions cheaper and faster for their customers. Currently, they're working on Aave v3, which plans to make it the most efficient DeFi liquidity protocol ever, allowing users to be able to transfer their liquidity from one network to another. We're also seeing Aave start to focus more on institutional adoption with them launching Aave Arc, which allows the big boys, so banks and other large corporations, to safely start borrowing and lending in the DeFi space, which is huge news. You see, a lot of companies are jumping into crypto and buying coins, but not not so many are hopping into DeFi. The main reason is because of compliance. So what Aave ended up doing was creating permission liquidity pool, which whitelisted 30 companies to join and experience DeFi to hopefully get more money in the space. Now Aave is the only one I know of doing this to my knowledge, but with all the relationships that they're building with these companies, this will only help them get more funding and adoption in the future. Now when we're looking at Aave's price, it has been down a lot, but I think the migration that we're doing to V3 and making the protocol more compatible and cheaper for its users, I can see this easily jumping back to the $180 range. But these were my top crypto picks for the month of February. As always, do your own research before you invest and let me know what coins you guys think will have some crazy potential down in the comment section below. Also, if you guys are interested in buying crypto, I suggest checking out crypto.com. They have all the top cryptos you guys would ever like to buy. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link to them down in the description box below. And as always, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Peace.